Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCosta, the Search Authority, and we're talking a tool. We're talking seamless AI. So, a couple things. Number one, it has a Chrome extension. The Chrome extension can find your contact information, stuff like that. You can add people, all that good stuff. We're going to talk about the tool itself, though. So, I am in the seamless AI um, dashboard, and I'm in the company area. So, let's start with one thing at a time. We're going to start where we're going to search for companies. So, I'm just going to do something quick, accounting. Don't care about employee size, this. Uh, location would be nice. I'm just going to stick with only in the U.S. I'm not going to even mess with the keyword. Now, a couple things. First of all, the realization is that this particular tool is going to research over, two, as it says, 250 million websites, 150 million companies, 1 billion social profiles, 250,000 new sites to find information about companies, people, whatever, and bring it all back to you. So let's see how we do. Uh, let's see, we picked our industry, we got our that, we get anywhere in the U.S. Okay, let's search, see what we get. And there we go, we got a bunch of companies, all of which are uh, in the accounting industry, all of which um, are in the U.S., and all of which you get your estimated revenue, employees, all that good stuff. Now, what's this good for? Well, it's good for doing research on companies to target. It's good for doing research in general, just about if you're going to, you know, what you want to do involving companies, partnering with them or whatever. So that's what this can do for you. Now, I'm not going to push anything else like fine or anything in here. I'm good with where I'm at. Don't want to mess with it. We're going to go to the people section. So now in the people section, I've done the search where I didn't pick a company, but I picked the title of developer uh, spelled right. I picked a keyword of Java and that's it. And I search. Now, in this case, it's the same numbers. You're still getting your 750 million, 1 billion, 250 sites, blah, 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 um, and everything. And then I searched, and this is what I got. I got roughly um, 9, 10 pages worth of people. Now, what I find interesting about this is this. So, you, you, you've got a bunch of stuff. So, we're going to do find website, find email. doesn't matter. We're going to try with start with find website. Uh, then we can view website. Now this will take me to either LinkedIn, social profile, whatever. Now we're going to do view email. We're going to let it do its thing and look what we get. We get all this information. Now we have an email, work. We have a phone number, appears to be work. Now down here we have a direct phone, which could be a cell phone or whatever. And of course we can copy these. We now have their LinkedIn page, their fa Facebook and, and, uh, and uh, Twitter page. Uh, contact intelligence, let's press that. This is what you get, and you get all these other places where they're at, and all these other places where you can go ahead and do company intelligence. But this is personal, so we got all the look at this LinkedIn, Twitter, Google, Plus, um, a Google research, just all a bunch of neat stuff. Now, what do you do with them? Well, of course, you can do a lot of things with them. You can go ahead and grab the ones you're interested in, you can add them to a list. If you have a list already built, you can go ahead and download the selected to raw or clean, which uh, raw is probably the raw data. Cleaned is more nice and pretty and all that. Uh, you can do a lot of different things here. So that's what you get to do and you don't get to do. You can delete them, you can add them, you can do whatever the heck you want. So now we're gonna go over here to email. This is just where you can hook your email up to make it easier for you to go back and forth. Then we're gonna go to social. Social actually just opens up LinkedIn. Um, which gets you to your LinkedIn stuff that now my contacts this takes me to the people that I have saved now I can go up here as you see the first person I did I grab and I can grab all 11 people and I can do a bunch of different things I can add to the list I can search with them but I can also download raw and cleaned uh, same situation as before so let's let's go ahead and do this and see what we get so the raw we're going to do the raw and this is just a bunch of stuff. And this is what you get. You just get all sorts of information that's just mind boggling. The email stuff they did to find the right email, LinkedIn profiles, other profiles, all sorts of stuff. A lot, just a lot of info. Let's see what happens if we do the clean version, see what we get. So we're gonna do the clean now. What we get is we get their name, their title, company, phone number, uh, if available. Uh, let's see what else here. Contact location, which is where they're at, company, date, they created, that's all ours. Then we have the breakdown of the first name, last name, and middle name. Then your emails, then contact phone numbers, company phone numbers, LinkedIn profiles, and other profiles. Just a little bit cleaner. What you don't get anymore is all the different things about um, all the different things about the different ways they validated emails and all like that. So this is a little bit cleaner, definitely without a doubt cleaner. Uh, so that's what you get. Um, 
this is a really cool tool. I really like it. Now, what I find interesting about it, I'm going to go back to the people search here, is, like I said, they are going over and researching over 750 million contacts, 1 billion social profiles, 250 million websites, 150 million companies, 250, you know, the same thing as I said before. And that's really cool. Um, in talking to them, they say that they can bring back people even if they don't have a LinkedIn profile. Um, I've done about five searches. One time it did bring me back some people that didn't have a LinkedIn profile, or at least they couldn't connect the dots. Most of the other times they've got them. Uh, I think that's a byproduct of the fact that a lot of people are on LinkedIn, to be quite frank with you. Um, I think it's not so much a byproduct of this being a LinkedIn centric tool. In fact, talk to them. They're very specific in that it is not a LinkedIn centric tool. Uh, and, and in doing the research, like I said, I did find some people that weren't. So what we're going to do is we're going to crash off here. We're going to try We're going to actually reset the entire thing. And we're going to go ahead and try a different search. Um, and hopefully we'll get something. So let's see. Let's try a different title. Let's try something like um, attorney. I hope I spelled it right. I probably didn't. So let's pick something I can actually spell. Um, dub, 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 dub. PM. We're going to put PM. I don't know why. Just to do it. Title PM, and we're going to search. I'm not going to mess with all this other stuff. I just want to do that. Yeah, so it, it knows automatically to break out. PM means project manager, uh, which is good. Um, it's got several pages um, and everything, which is all nice and cool um, and everything. It's got a lot of pages, pictures, everything. It's actually working really well. I'm actually impressed. So let's see what happens if we do refine, find. What does that do? Find just seems to try to find a little more info. Didn't do a whole lot. Um, let's see what happens. We do view phone. Now view phone is supposed to get me all the content. Yay. There we go. So it gets me a lot of contact information, uh, which is good since I didn't specify where I am getting people in the U S outside the U S which is fine. We do get some per some direct lines here. We definitely get emails, mostly work emails, but definitely emails, which is all goodness. Um, and even interesting for the one that didn't find email like Abby Fang, let's open that bad boy up. <coughs> Excuse me. So they got a LinkedIn profile. They've got a Twitter and a Facebook. So what would happen if we open up the Facebook page? Does it get me? It doesn't get me right to her. It gets me to a search for Abby Fang. Um, and I would need to pick the right one. Okay, so that's not going to help a whole heck of a lot in this particular. But these are the right Abby Fang. So let's try it again. Or supposedly, let's try it again. Nope, still the search for Abby Fang. So that's still not bad. I can easily find her. But it's just good to know what it's giving me. Um, let's go to t uh, LinkedIn. Now, I do not say sign on in LinkedIn. So I don't know if this is going to let me in or not. Uh, it may make me sign in first, which, of course, it will. So we're going to go ahead and get signed in, which takes only a second or two because I have tools that take care of all that for me because, well, frankly, I don't want to have to mess with it. So let's let this bad boy sign me in. Then we got to be fang. It's the right person, so that's good. And I'm pretty sure she works at Amazon Lab 126. I'm pretty sure that I can find an email address using other tools here. So it looks like even, even the ones that... Um, even the ones that uh, they don't have emails for, we seem to be able to get there. Let's see what Context Scout finds. Didn't find me anything. Uh, no. Let's see. Namera finds me anything. I'm not logged in, so let's log in real quick. Uh, I don't stay log logged into all my tools. I like to restart my computer and stuff and keep it clean, so Namera's not going to find anything. Let's see if pre-contact tool can. Pre-contact tool is really a good tool, so let's see what we get out of this one. Give it a minute or two or three or five. And let's see what we get. Do, 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 do. Ah, didn't find anything. That's interesting. That's rare. So let's see what Swordfish gives me. Swordfish is another incredible tool. Swordfish and pre-contact tool. Love them. Couldn't do anything with it, but that's okay. And let's see if we have an email sitting here. Nope, no email sitting there. So maybe Abby is not somebody we can easily find an email with. I'm betting I can if I really want to try some of my other tricks, but I'm, this is not about finding emails, so we're not going to go down that road. I have a uh, video on finding emails. I suggest you watch it because I can almost guarantee you it will find you an email. We could try Zap Info and let's see and see if Zap Info can get us a quick email. Let me just make sure I don't have anybody already in my little Zap Info folder, which I do. Let's get rid of them because I don't want to. I don't want to um, mix it up and have to look for it, which I shouldn't. So let's go ahead and see if Zap can do anything. We're going to let Zap zap it. Yes, Zap Info, Zap it. There you go. Um, so that's your word of the day, Zap it. Um, we're going to wait for it to do its thing. We're going to open the bad boy up as soon as it's done, and we're going to see what we got. We're going to view the record, and here it is. 
uh, we are going to go ahead and let it um, enhance. And it's not, uh, it didn't find, oh, found me a work email. We're good. Now, here's the other thing, though. Generate suggestions. It's going to go out and generate ge suggestions based on the first name, last name with the top email things. None. It, it's got suggestions, but it can't confirm any of them. It's good. But that's okay. We have a work email. We are happy campers. So that's it done over. So this particular person became uh, no problem. We'll leave that open since I have a mail. I don't want to mess with it. So my thoughts is I like it. I think this is a pretty good tool. It does a lot of information. Um, and so and it finds you a lot of information. Me personally, I don't care if it's work or home. I don't mind calling now. That's and most people most people, sorry about that. Most people prefer emails anyway, um, but I kind of like this. And then, of course, you got none here. Um, some good information. I like the tool. I think it's good. It's clean. It's slick. Um, and, and it's definitely worth checking out and definitely worth looking at and seeing if it's it's something you should add to your tool belt. This is Dean DaCosta. We were talking seamless AI, and I'm the search authority.